You've just crossed the halfway point. Best of luck on the second half. Yes. Thank you. What kind of campus would build a facility like this on site? Nice work. Treasure chest. All right. Let's go. My turn. There. I'll show no mercy! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! It's mine! Now. Eh. Nope. Let's go! Sit! It's down! Let's go, Altina! Yes! My turn! Yeah. Behold the Vander style! Yeah! I did it! I must train even more! Stats updated. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, bring it on! My blade, calm as still water. Now! <gasps> Flash! Fallen leaves! Whew. Everyone okay? complete it's my turn here I go very well I shall go this is the end take them down ah, strike let's go ha! all right nice work
I'm up. Yeah, yeah. Just beyond there are the doors leading to your destination. Be quick about it. Understood. Heading to target point. Wait a second. Be on alert. I have detected a spike in mana. In what? Mana? You guys need to get out of there right away! <clears throat> uh, is this thing... a Panzer Soldat? No, this is... It's a magic knight. An orbal golem from the Dark Ages. Professor Schmidt, are you responsible for this? I happened to acquire a few of these antique machines when they appeared during the Civil War. Though its output is lamentably inferior to Panzer Soldats, its ability to act autonomously is useful. This will be your final challenge in this trial. Is he serious? What is wrong with him? This is going too far! They're not capable of taking on a magic knight. Only one thing I can do... Heed my call! Valimar! The use of a divine knight is prohibited for this trial! Level zero was not calibrated to account for its intervention. Were you to use it against such an opponent, the data I would receive would be useless. You do have another option available to you, Schwarzer. <laughs> Against this? Or if you'd prefer, you may choose to activate the new function installed in the Arcus 2s. Please activate Brave Order! Olivier, uh, Prince Oliver said that you would be able to use it for sure, Instructor! I bid you felicitations on your recent graduation, delayed by duty though it was. I also wish to thank you from the bottom of my heart, Reem. These may seem on the paltry side as a gift for such an occasion, but I'd like for each of you to have the newly completed Arcus II. I've added some fun little communication features to it, just for you. There are a few other new functions that can only be described as brilliant, so uh, do give them a try next time you find yourself in a pinch. All right, will do. What is this? Uh, I feel some kind of energy coming from him. A combat link? No, it's different. Prepare to engage in combat!
Brave order! Class 7 Special Operations, put everything you have into defeating the target! Yeah! yeah! Watch out! This is a tough one! Formation! Yeah. Very well. My turn. Here I go! My turn. Yeah! I'm up! All right! Set! Striker! I shall go. Search mode activate. Detailed information obtained. It's my turn! My turn! Let's go! Raging fire formation! Very well. Now. There! An opening! All right! Yeah! Wide open! It's mine! I'm up! Sit! Very well. Yeah. My turn. Grianak, activate fire. Hostile suppressed. Continue mission. All right, got it! Yeah, I did it! I must train even more. Stats updated. <sighs> we did it. <sighs> Stamina depleted. A short rest is required. Uh. Oh, you guys did amazing! The trial's complete! But you took this way too far, Professor! Hmm... That was faster than I expected. I'll have to increase the difficulty next time. Hmm... Could you please listen to me? This trial was completely absurd. Next time? Is he gonna make us go through all that again? The probability seems high. At least that put an end to our orienteering exercise. Thank you. Great job, class. You all handled the first test of Brave Order very well. I'm proud of you. There are some areas each of you could improve on, but you just need to tackle them one at a time. I'm sure today hasn't instilled you with much faith in the idea of Class 7. Your class size and this trial are bound to raise some red flags. Then, you have an instructor who's only just graduated. What if he doesn't know what he's doing?
Like I said, if you want to transfer to classes 8 or 9, I swear that I'll make it happen. But, it's something I want you to decide for yourselves. Think hard about what you believe, what you want to accomplish, what kind of future you want, and, most importantly, who you are. Only you can figure out if Class 7 is the right place for you. Take all that to heart, and I know you'll have your answer. Una Crawford reporting. From today, I will be part of Class 7, Special Operations. Really? <sighs> Don't get the wrong idea, okay? It's not because I want to. I never wanted to come to this school. I'd much rather be back in Crossbell. I don't like Erebonia, and I don't think much of you either. So it seems. But throughout the entire exercise, your guidance was clear and accurate. If you weren't with us, we never would have beaten that thing. Honestly, it's infuriating. And I'm annoyed I couldn't show off what I learned at the police academy. That's why I'm going to stay in Class 7 until I can prove myself. Until I can show up an annoying hero like you, Ashen Chevalier. She's ridiculous. At least she's consistent in her ridiculousness. <sighs> the annoying part aside, you really don't need to keep calling me a hero. But you know what? I respect that kind of determination. Welcome to Class 7, Yuna. <laughs> Got it. Kurt Vander reporting. I will also join Class 7. That said, I have no definitive reason for doing so. Oh? I simply have no objections to the branch campus's decision to place me in this class. If anything, I'm grateful for the chances it'll give me to test my skills in real combat. I couldn't face my family if I allowed the blades I inherited to rust. So they're heirlooms? Metaphorical. He means the will of the Vander School. I'm also interested in seeing what the Eight Leaves can do. So far, I'm not impressed. Whoa! That's way out of line. I do not believe you're in any position to say that. <laughs> well, that's because I'm still learning. Just like you guys. Welcome to Class 7, Kurt. Thank you. Hmm? How about you, Altina? There is no need for confirmation. While the details are classified, I intend to follow the protocols of the mission. No, Altina, that's not what I mean. The answer needs to come from you. Hmm? <sighs> Does she not understand? I won't accept your participation unless you chose this. I don't care who originally placed you here whether it was the Principal, the Intelligence Division, or even the Imperial Government. Why do you want to stay? It can be anything. And it can't be what I said? Hey! Why are you picking on her so much? I still don't get how you guys know each other, but you can't talk like that to a little girl who... I can't think of a reason. All that comes to mind is how I've supported you on all of your operations this past year. If I'm to be at the branch campus, it is only right that I be in your class. It was also Class 7 who once stood in the way of my mission. Even if the students have changed, I find myself somewhat drawn to the name. Does that work? Oh. Uh. It works for now. I'm glad you're staying, Altina. Okay. Oh, brother. You sure drew that out. It's been one thing after another. I now officially declare the formation of Class 7 Special Operations. Let's all work hard and grow together. Not just as a class, but as comrades. That was so sweet, Rain. I was wondering how things were going down here. Foolish. 
No instructor has the authority to change a student's placement. If any of them wanted to transfer, I would have allowed it. Principal Le Guin, with all due respect. Everything worked out, so it's fine. Didn't you hear? They decided for themselves. Classes 8 and 9 had a good start, too. Not bad for a trash bin. The coming days will be very interesting indeed. Train our fledglings well while you can. That is, if you don't want them to be swept away by this turbulent era. Of course! Yes, ma'am. Yeesh! <laughs> this is some school I landed myself in. Damn, he's even worse than Gramps. Coming here to study is crazy enough, but you sure you want to work under that old goat? <laughs> Don't be like that, he's actually pretty amazing. And I feel like I'll be able to make a lot of friends here. But most importantly, I want to do all I can in place of everyone who couldn't come to the Empire. Look at you, all grown up and doing your own thing. Guess I can't call you short stuff anymore, huh? Our old enemies are definitely on the move. And not just them. The Imperial government and a few other groups are up to something too. Thank the freaking goddess that dumbass was around to help me set up a long distance line. If anything happens, I'll be here in a flash. Don't hesitate to call me, Tita, you got that? You bet. But only if you promise me you'll be careful, Agate. Don't do anything too crazy. I see. For both the main and branch campuses? Yes. Their first day ended without incident. Class 7, Special Operations, Class 8, Combat Tactics, and Class 9, Military Finance have all been established. Man, oh man. Just when I thought we finally shoved that beast in a cage, Erebonia's number one sweetheart just had to show up wanting to be an instructor. Indeed. Between them and a certain capable young woman, there's far more talent there than one would ever expect from a trash bin. Perhaps there wasn't a need to send him there from Crossbell so soon after all. Who do you think you're fooling? We all know why you really sent him. But whatever, a powerhouse like him will come in handy. I'm not sure this is appropriate. In any event, the wheels are now in motion. With Northambria's annexation, every bush those serpents would dare hide in has been burned to ash. They have no choice left but to try and reclaim their master's plan. As for the branch campus, that pitiful final act of rebellion from a prince who's lost his blade and his wings. We shall simply have it and my worthless son dance at the end of our strings. Your Excellency. Uh-huh. Laying it on kind of thick, don't you think? By your will, Excellency, we Ironbloods will see your ambitions are fulfilled. I think the connection's finally gone through. Yay, it worked! I never dreamed I'd be able to talk with you all like this. Indeed. His Highness was too kind to arrange this feature. Doesn't look like Reen or Gaius came through. Could be they're too far away. Oh, or maybe somewhere where the signal's super weak. No matter. I'm sure we'll have more than ample opportunities to speak with them in the coming days. That's right. And we can finally fulfill our promise. Well, you sure are fired up. How could she not be? This is the season for reunions, after all. Yeah, spring is here once again.